Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm T4 and today we are trying this brand new game Primitive Society Simulator. Quick shout out to the dev team for giving me this game. I appreciate it. Now first we're going to go through the tutorials to try and get an idea of what this game is about. But in full honesty I'm not sure if I'm smart enough for this game or games like this. But if you want to see more of this game after today's video Go ahead and let me know with the likes, comments, and maybe a couple of subs. Now let's get into it. Alright, uh, we're going to the usual, move around, scroll with the mouse, uh, hold the shortcut key and use the middle mouse button to drag. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, Q and E to do the same thing. Um, press the enter key to recenter the camera this enter key. Press the play button or the space bar. Um, you can do it again to cancel it. We got some speed controls here. Nice. Okay. Uh, select a primitive by clicking on them with the left mouse button. You can select multiple by clicking and dragging. Okay. Pretty standard RTS. After selecting multiple, after selecting a primitive, right click on the ground and choose run here command. Okay. Holy crap, Ola. Uh, learn how to set the priorities. All right, so click on assign work. Uh, click on the priority below gathering resources. So that's this one. Oh, snap. Uh, set the grass to 8. Is this grass? Grass to 8. Okay, so let's do, uh, branches to 70. Gathering by dragging the corresponding entry. Raise the priority for the branches to the highest level. Drag it. In the assign work interface, uh, gather, assign work. Assign work. Uh, gather, left click on the number under the gathered resources category for any primitive to increase the priority, uh, to level one. So I've got Little Miss Storm selected here. So gather resources. We'll take them to level one. Complete that. You can also select resources in the map by left clicking. Right, so let's close the sign work. Let's recenter on the village. Uh, you can also select resources in the map by left clicking or dragging a, a selection box. Then click on gathering resources in the bottom left corner to prioritize primitives to gather the marked resources. Okay, so let's go with um, this bunch of stuff here. Oh, gather resources. Uh, wait for primitives to gather grass until 80. Uh, wait for primitives to chop down trees until 70. Okay, well, we're going to speed this up. Open the build menu in the bottom left corner. Build. Um, select a bonfire and place one bonfire. We all love a good bonfire. Let's put the bonfire in this clearing here. Why not? Uh, in the build menu, select bonfire seat and place six. Six. Do we only need six? Uh, in the assigned work interface left, click on the number under building. Assign work. Building. And make it a priority one for somebody. All right. In the assigned work interface uh, button. In the assigned work interface, click on the priority button below the building job category to open the building workplace priority interface where you can adjust the order of construction tasks priority but uh l let's leave it the way it is wait for completion of the bonfire again we'll speed this up no bonfire it's right there oh did i screw it up somehow in the build menu, select craft table and place one crafting table. Build. Bonfire seat, storage, fruit. Where's the... Ooh, crafting table. Let's put it close to, like... I guess they gotta make the crafting table, right? Now, make axes. Make. Click on the make button. 
for stone blades. Stone blade. Uh, change the crafting quantity for stone axes to two. Um, change it from make. Oh, for the stone blades, from make to maintain. New stone blades will only be crafted when the tribe has fewer than the maintaining quantity. Uh, well, let's change that up a little bit because there's six of them. Right, so we want to make sure that there's a couple. Adjust the crafting priority on the right side. Click on the up arrow or the down arrow buttons for any crafting task to change priority. So blades first. Okay. Uh, select a primitive. Select a primitive. Right click on the crafting table. Click on craft stone tools. A uh, primitive will prioritize crafting the tools at this crafting table until there is no more work. Okay. Wait, what? So we click on a primitive. Oh, then we right click and tell them, hey, this is your job. Wait for tools to be crafted. Do the thing. All right, pause. What's next? In the build menu, select a shed. Build menu. Um, Where's the shed? Shed. A simple shed which prevent which prevent the building from losing dur durability by rain. Uh, we're actually going to exit out of that. Does it say anything else? Place one bed under the grass shed. Build furniture bed. Okay, so shed. Let's build a little shed over this. Can I? And then oh, it loses some of that. We're going to demolish that building. Maybe I should move the crafting table. But if this thing protects stuff, I probably should have... Whatever. All right, there we go. And then we're going to put a bed underneath. Can we rotate? How do we rotate? That's how we rotate the camera. X and Z to rotate. Read the screen, T4. How many people do I have? I hope it's eight. Place one bed. Does it have to be built? Oh yeah, wait for completion. All right, complete. Back to the title. So that's tutorial number one. Let's go to tutorial number two. Tutorial combat. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Oh look, they all have like beds in this one. Oh, and the crafting tables under there. Look at that. Whoever set up this tutorial is smarter than I am. After selecting a primitive, right click on a stone spear. Where's the stone spear? Stone spear in the storage and equip stone spear to command the primitive. You. Oh, they have to wake up first. Okay, you. Stone spear. Equip the spear. Equip all primitives with a stone spear. Alright, they all have spears now. After selecting a primitive, right click on bone armor. Is that, oh, bone armor, equip bone armor. All right, what's next? There's one crazed dire wolf heading for your settlement. You can pause the game at any time when combat occurs. Now, please pause the game. Pause, pause. After selecting a primitive, click on command in the bottom right. Where'd my primitives go? I select a primitive. Click on command. Primitive can only engage in combat when in command mode. Okay. Where'd our dire wolf go? Command all primitives. All primitives. Command. After selecting a primitive, right click on the wolf, then choose attack target to command the primitive to attack the wolf. Right click, attack target. Kill the wolf. Unpause. Get him, guys! Ooh, are they gonna fight in the river? It's a river battle. Attack him again. Oh, okay. Yay, we killed him. Now what? After selecting a primitive under command, click on cancel command. Cancel command. 
In the bottom right to interface, uh, primitive exit command. Primitives only work when not in command mode. Cancel command for all primitives. Command, cancel command. I did that. Run here. Uh oh. Command. Cancel command. Command. Move here. Cancel command. Oh no! Is there a primitive somewhere that's still commanded? Cancel command. Okay. And in the character panel in the bottom right corner, click on the status button in the top left corner to open the character status interface. The left side is the mood. And the right side is the health status. Okay, so select a primitive. Let's do this guy because he's alone. Bum, 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 bum. Bottom right corner. Click on status. Status. He's in good health. He's a little hungry and he wants some clothes. Okay. Mouse over the animal madness mood. Animal gone mad. Not soothed yet. Oh. Yeah, we did that though. In the build menu, select a soothing point. Select soothing point and place one soothing point. What? Um, standing torch? Nope. War totem? Okay. Ceremonial soothing point. Let's select a soothing point. Should it be inside? Here, let's put it inside. Uh, select a primitive. I'm so weak. Then eat something. Alright, we're going to pause. Select a primitive. Right click on the soothing point. Uh, select a primitive. Right click on a primitive with a low mood. And then click on the soothe mood. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then click on... Soothing. Primitive will prioritizing soothing them. Or wait for someone to automatically soothe a primitive within a low mood. Okay, so they're just going to do it. Wait for that to be done. Select a primitive in the character panel. Select a primitive and then the character panel. In the bottom right corner, click on status. Button in the top left corner. Open the character status interface. The left side is the mood interface and the right side is the health status. Okay. Hover over Animal Madness mood in the character's mood interface after being soothed. Okay, so we got to find someone that's been soothed. Are you done yet? Were you soothed? Already be appeased. Okay. Complete. Back to title. Sweet. So that one's done. This game is really intricate. Animal taming. There's a lot to this game. This is why I'm worried I'm not smart enough for this game or games like this. Because there's a lot of like little systems that are all going to interact together. And I always lose track of all the systems when I play games like this. Okay. In the assigned work... In the assigned work interface, left clicked on the number under the hunting sign work. Hunting. Uh, category for any primitive to increase the priority for their hunting job. Setting it to a priority level one. Um, let's go with Norish because it's a fun name. Uh, in the assign work interface, click on priority button below hunting. Oh. And you can adjust the targets for the hunting capture. Check adults for chickens and primitive sheep. Automatically hunt adult animals on the map. Primitives assigned to hunting will equip their weapons on their own. Wait for them to be equipped. 
Go, Norris, go, go. Pause. Primitives assigned to hunting will search for prey and hunt on their own. Wait for them to do so. Let's follow Norris. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, there's some chickens over here. Get them. Yeah. All right, next. Place a fence and a corral door in closed space. Put the chicken feeding trough inside and wait for all construction to be completed to create the chicken's corral. Okay, so I'm assuming that's in building. Bum, bum, bum. Fence. Corral door. What does the corral door look like? Here, let's put them over here. That's a door. I don't know how big this needs to be. There we go. And a chicken feeding trough. Let's go with that. Speed this up a touch. Look at them go. All right. We're going to slow this back down to one. Go to next. In the assigned work interface, click on the priority button below hunting. Category to open the hunting target. Setting interface. Here you can adjust the target for hunting and capturing. Oh, assigned work. Uh, hunting. Capture. I guess we're going to capture some juveniles. I'll wait for primitives to capture juveniles. Okay, so just the chickens. Forget about the sheep for now. We're just, it, it's a waiting game. So we're just going to... Right, so we've got a chicken. Next. Assign work, left click, animal feeds, or feed animals. Where is... Feed animals. Um, let's make it a priority one for him since he's the hunter. Click on the chicken feeding trough or the chicken corral to open the chicken corral information. Okay, click on feeding management. Oh, and it's like, okay, here's the food you can use. Okay, cool. All right, in the feed management, adjust the feed capacity to the desired values. Well, I don't know what the desired values are. Feed capacity, 60. One unit of ingredients can kill one, can fill one unit of food. Daily feed requirement is two. Each one requires two, there are one. Okay, so. Let's switch this to take no eggs. Take all eggs, take no eggs, okay. Um, let's put berries first and let's put to the desired amounts. I don't know, 10, 20? Pass complete, okay. There's only one chicken. I don't think we need a lot of food in there. Place fences and corral doors to enclose the space. Put the wolf feeding trough. What? We can do wolves too? Alright, fence. We're going to put them right next to the chicken because we're irresponsible. Can I just click and drag this? I can. Alright, but we're going to put your door like over here, dude. How do we rotate again? Make it a little bit bigger because wolves. Alright, now where is wolf feeding trough? Here we go. Wait for all construction to be completed to create the wolf corral. Open the world map and select a wolf pack on the map. And send an expedition to hunt. It is recommended to send three primitives. Okay, so... This needs to be finished, which is probably going to happen tomorrow because I'm seeing fires. Wait, did he grab? He grabbed another chicken. Look. Nice. Pause. No, keep going. Go, go, go. Look at them go. Oh, they need material. Oops. They'll get it. Or not. 
Do I not have somebody like specific for building? Mm. I don't. Okay, where let's let's use some of the things. You focus on building. You focus on gathering resources. Same with you, same with you, same with you. Let's see what happens now. You know, I don't think we need any more hunting. All right. Open the world map. World map. Wolves. Form a team to hunt. Um, let's go with you three, because you're the highest sort by load. I don't know what that means. All right. Select rope. Item. Couple of spears. Rope. I don't know what else I need. Set out. Oh, we need more food. Uh, da -da -da, food. Oof, we've got a bunch of everything in stock. How lo How much do they need? Someone will go hungry. That feels like a lot. All right, so we're going to go with 20, uh, which gives us a day, and it's only supposed to take six hours. Um, so let's set out. Begin to gather things to form hunting party. Confirm. Turn this down. Good luck, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. Wait for expedition to reach the destination. What happens when they get there? Am I supposed to be in the world map still? Alright, so we want to hunt the adult and take the kid, I'm guessing. Oh no, somebody's hurt. Get him. Oh, guys, I screwed up. Look at this. Get the wolf already, would you? Why don't you have a spear? Uh-oh. The hunting team put up a bloody fight, but not a single soul survived. Their bones shall remain in the wilderness forever. A snap decision has brought total annihilation. It's all my fault. All my fault. Okay. Okay, I'm clicking on it. So what do we do? Reset tutorial? Um... Um... I only have one guy and two girls left. How do we make babies? We're just going to reset the tutorial. Because I'm pretty sure I fucked that up hard. Okay, so because of how awesome I did last time, we're going to send everybody. Uh, for food, we're going to do uh, 20. No, 20. 20. Someone will go hungry because I'm sending everybody. So let's do 40. 40 and 20. Why not? Days worth of food. Number of people, six. Item, uh, rope. So it wants us to send at least one rope. We're also going to send all the spears. See if that helps. Animal bones. Is there any armor? Can I give everybody a vehicle? I don't have any vehicles. So let's see what happens this time when we set out. Do it. See, only one of them took a spear. All right, where's my people? How do I make them all grab a spear? Oh, let's drop this down to one. Right click and attack target. Let's go, guys. Let's let's do it properly this time. Hopefully we don't all die again. Uh-oh. Hey. Hunt's complete. Wait for expedition. Expedition will return with juvenile wolves. Wait for them to bring the juvenile wolf to the corral. To the corral, the primitive is assigned to feed animals. Job will 
Come to tame the animal. Wait for the primitive to tame the wolves to 60. Wait for the wolf to grow into an adult. Open that interface. And I can't read. Uh, select primitive instead of wolf as an anapal. All right, so it looks like a little bit of a waiting game. Let's see what happens. Wait, do I have somebody actually set to feed the wolf? Sign work. Animals. How do I fix this one? Get better. Oh yeah, somebody set to feed. You know what we do want though? We don't want any more chickens. A little bit of a waiting game now. Uh oh, I think somebody died. That's okay though, right? One corral is overcrowded in our tribe. Probably the chickens. How long does this take? If I set more people to feed, will it go faster? Let's find out if it goes faster with more people doing it. Does not. I don't know what this stuff is, but I'm going to build it while we're waiting because the ancestors apparently have a will. I feel like I need to make the chicken corral bigger. What else do the ancestors want? Knowledge. Bloodline. Give birth to three children. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, I did some of this stuff, whatever this is. Now I got to do fishing stuff. See, it says capture ten chickens. So we set dude back to catching chickens. Um, Let's make... Four. What is this? Stone spear. Oh! The wolf's an adult. He's still not tamed. Tamed. 58%. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so once he's tamed, I can set him to... I want to see... I can set him as an Anapal once he's fully tamed. Which I think we're almost there. Fifty-nine point three percent. This takes a minute. Oh, there we go. So now we can go to Anapals. And select them. Set. Oh, do I gotta pick a dude? Uh, weaver's table, bonfire, going to unload. I can just send him with the chickens. There we go. Now he's with the hunter. Select raw meat on the ground. And view the freshness information of the raw meat. Drag and place a shed on the storage to cover the raw meat. In the storage. Okay. So is there raw meat? I'll see Flint. Uh oh. Fish. Freshness. A hundred. Did I? I did this too early, didn't I? Shed. Oh, I don't like the way that's built. I don't see any raw meat. Is it because of this thing? Aw, that's cute. They're like best friends now. There's no raw meat in storage, so let's go assign work. Hunting. Priority. Let's do some hunting. So we can get some raw meat. Oh, it's because it's all in here now. Feed management. Let's drop this down to like 20. See if that helps. Fairly free camera movement. I like it. What's this? Nope. Still no raw meat. Did I do the chickens thing? 
raising chickens. Take eggs for one time. Okay, okay, we're we're gonna give up on this because this feels like more than tutorial stuff. All right, so let's go to assign work. Who is the wolf? Priority. We're gonna stop capturing chickens and we're just gonna hunt, please. Click on the hide roof button in the upper right corner. Oh. Oh! Oh no, the chickens are hungry. My feet are dead? Oh, there's some raw meat. There we go. Where's the freshness? Freshness is 100. Select the raw meat on the ground and view the freshness. Oh, it's because the shed's in the way. It's okay, we can demolish building. Click on the meat. And then build a shed. Don't screw up like T4 does. Exit the building menu. And then when they build the shed, we'll be good to go! Oh, next. Uh, in the build menu, select meat rat. <laughs> Place two meat rat. But what if I already have a meat rack? Demolish. And then we will build a meat rack. Here, let's build them over here. Here and here. Damn it. That's what I get for getting ahead of myself. In the assign work interface, I'll pick somebody to do food prep. Food prep. Um, let's get the hunter to do it. We'll set hunting to two. Double click to select the same building on the screen. Select multiple meat racks to change their storage priority to hot. Um, let's do fish. And, hey. Hey, come on. Man, there's a lot to this. Is he keeping watch at night? That's cool. My chickens are gonna die. Look at them all. I feel like I messed something up. Assign work. So we need... Gather resources. You're not doing anything. You'd gather resources, would you? Same with the sleeper here. Wait. I feel like I'm going to ignore that for now because I feel like that's ahead of me too. Why is this not being built? Shortage of materials. What materials do we need? These? 40 sticks right there. Is it too close? I have too many chickens. Are you going to build the meat rack now? Where are you going? Oh, just picking up all the sticks. Okay. Worker workforce has reached maximum limit. What? Am I ever doing too much? Okay. What about you, Shadow? They don't want to do the other meat rack. I'm going to be stuck here forever. They're like, we've already built and destroyed so many things for you. Yay! Okay, double click. Do all the things. Double click to select the same building on the screen. Select multiple meat racks and change their storage priority. On the meat first. Um, hi. There we go. There we go. On to the next tutorial. Ooh, medical care. Okay. Click on a search for herbs button in the bottom right. Search for herbs. Uh, ma -ma, interface. In this interface, select the team member list and choose the primitives to send to search for herbs. Well, we're sending everybody, of course. Oh, wait. In the search for herbs formation interface, 
Here, let's send three, just in case. Um, in the search for sort by herbs, search for herb team formation interface. Select the food list. Yeah. Oh wait, how long are we going for? Each day. Unknown herbs determined by foods. Zero days. So let's go. Let's go a hundred. Let's really get this done, you know? Send out the search for herb team to search for medical herbs, ensuring that they are expected to find nine herbs. Total. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. Um, Send out the herb team to search for medical herbs, making sure that the food carries the expedition at least three days. Okay. Um, open the world map and click on the view to search herb team on the map. Okay, so we'll set them out. Confirm. And open the world map. Task complete. Search the herb. The search herb team will search for various herbs daily. Wait for the herb team to find medicinal herbs. View information. Okay, so do I just wait? Uh, once the search herb team's food is depleted, they will return on their own. Wait for the search herb team. Search for herbs and return. Okay, so... Herb team to find medical herbs. Let's hope they find medical herbs, I guess. And while they're gone, let's do the stuff that we know we should be doing here. Okay, so it was um, crafting bench, uh, a clothing stand, a meat rack. Um, we've already got beds, floors, and storage. Uh, let's also do fishing. I, I'm going to wait on the herbs bench. Uh, let's do a weaver's table. And a standing torch for shits and giggles. Let's see how the herb team is doing. Where are they going? Are they just going? Whoa. So there's like a whole ass world. Not just... Okay. I don't think I was supposed to give them five days worth of stuff. But I did. Now we just gotta wait for them to come back. And it sounds like it's gonna take a bit. So, make, 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 make. I don't think I need to do all that. But I did it. And we're gonna make, uh, let's make five. And I have six people, so let's make six. What do you do? Let's make one. Um, you can store everything. That's fine. What do you do? We already got you sorted out. There, it's this one. Clothes. All right. Build, build, build. Uh, while we're waiting, you know, just to just to keep busy while we wait. Get some chickens going. Ooh, you know what else? Probably don't need to do this, but we're doing it. We're going to build... Um, probably not a war totem, because I don't know what that actually does. Let's build a weapons rack. We have a meat rack. Shed. Let's build a shed. Yeah, they're always good to have. We've got the bonfire seats. Got the bonfire. Standing torch. Not too worried about... All right. Oh, there's a crafting table already. Whoops. Now there's two. How we doing, Herb Team? They'll return in two and a half days. Can I just, like... Ooh, view team information. We've got 80 berries, 13 herbs, two unknown, and two unknown. Sounds good to me. Are there any clothes I can make them put on, too? Needle, unknown herbs... Herbs meat. 
stone picks. All right, we don't have any clothes yet. But now they're safe. If something happens, I don't know. Where's my herb team? Three buildings need roof protection. Probably those, eh? It's just good to know at this point. Oh, it's still spring. I didn't even notice that in the top right. Cool. They're on their way back. Or are they back? They're back, and they've got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I bet they're hungry. Alright, when you guys are done that, um, you're going to equip some stuff to make sure you stay protected. And then you can go back to whatever you were doing. Next. Uh, in the build menu, select the herb bench. Place one herb bench. Okay. Gee, it's almost like I knew something was coming like that. Let's twist sideways so we can see right in here. Not that it's a problem. Build. Can I put the herb bench in there? It's the next herb bench. Somebody get in there and build that, would you? Look, these guys just came back for expedition. They're like, we're not doing it. Guess what? You are... Look, they get, like, they must get skill points and stuff to be like, this is what I'm good at. Alright, so we want, um, we're gonna make a potion. Right? Let's make a couple. Then we're gonna taste. Wait, and then we're just gonna wait for it to be done. Can I assign, like, you? No, you. I can assign you, right? Or somebody already doing it? Oh, somebody's already doing it. No problem. While we're waiting, we're just gonna speed up time. I have a patience issue. It's me. It's not the game. I think the pace of the game is fine, especially because you can mess around with the flow of time in the game. I personally just don't like waiting for stuff, but I think this game does a pretty good job so far. All right, so the potion is done. Now you need to taste some herbs and tell me if you die. Ancestral will achieved. Okay. Oh, that's right. I told them to do a bunch of potions, didn't I? Hey, who's in charge of feeding? We're taking hunting off the table. Let's get the feeding going, shall we? Here, let's swap up. Oh, never mind. We don't need to swap up priority. All right, what's next? Holy! Patient's bed. Okay, so we need a patient's bed. Seed table, patient bed. To me, it makes sense to put it there. Wait for the bed. Yeah. Assign under medical care category for any primitive to increase the priority of medical care. Sign work. Um, wait, what? Interface left click on the number under medical. Oh, there it is. Um, and oh, I've got a sick dude. Um, let's go with. Do you have anything else on the go? You do not. You can check for seriously ill people by the notification in the upper left corner. Select a person, assign medical care, right click on the collapsed person. Where's the collapsed person? Oh, there. Right click. Um... Oh, wait. Uh, ba -ba 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 bottom left tribal member. Oh, yeah, down there. Yeah. To help a seriously ill person, select a person assigned to medical care. Right-click on the collapsed person. How do I know who's assigned to medical care? Oh, do I gotta go here? What's your name, please? Right. You. You. Caring patients. Alternatively, you can wait for others to automatically carry the patient. Waiting for the patient to be carried to bed. 
All right. You can also identify sick individuals notifications in the upper left corner by looking at the right up here. Yeah. To assign a sick look, look, all this stuff is in the way. Um, upper left corner. Or by looking at the status icon in the bottom left corner member list to assign a sick person. Uh, something right click medicine on the ground and choose take potion. Alternatively, you can on their own before dinner waiting for patient to take potion. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So you're in bed. We're going to wait a minute. What if I just click on you? Where's the potion? Flint. Winter clothes. Unknown crops. Herbs. Unknown herbs. Where's the potions? Anybody? Take potion. No one needs the potion right now. What do you mean? Look at them. Okay, well, let's just let this do its thing and we'll see what happens then. Yay, it did it on its own. Sweet. Is it because I have, like, a doctor? Complete. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. And we're going to do our last tutorial now. Select a girl. Hover over her age bar. It says she's an adult, but she's like seven. Um, when two unmarried primitives of different genders reach the reproductive age, they will marry each other. After the wedding, they will go to bed to sleep and await further developments. <laughs> That's one way to say it. Okay, relationship. Nobody. Okay, so when two unmarried primitives of a different gender reach the reproductive age, they just get married. I don't have to do anything. How do we how do we make them get married? Once a primitive reaches the reproductive age, they will form a romantic relationship and get married. However, it's important to note that pregnant women will gradually become unable to participate in labor and combat until they give birth, and they will require care from the tribe. Does that mean I got to make a patient bed? If two married primitives if two married primitives allow pregnancy, the women will become pregnant. Wait for someone to become pregnant. Select a primitive woman, open the character information panel, and hover over the pregnancy bar to view detailed information. After a certain period of pregnancy, the pregnant woman will give birth. Wait for someone to give birth. You can choose not to allow primitives to reproduce. Select an adult female. Find the allow pregnancy button below the age bar and uncheck it. Okay, so we will start with you. We're going to not allow pregnancy just for the sake of getting that done. And then I'll put it back because I don't actually care. And it looks like the rest of this is just a waiting game. How can I, how can I speed this up? Oh, wait, you're pregnant. Third trimester, so you'll be done soon. Got to wait for that to happen. So I got to find married... Is that why they're together like this? Alright, well, let's just fast forward this and see what happens, you know? So I'm a little confused. Can I assign work and make it a work thing to reproduce? Resources, cooking, food preparation, foraging, farming, livestock, butchering, herding, feeding, hunting, fishing. Doesn't look like it. But notice my pregnant woman cannot do all that much. So this tutorial is just a waiting game for the most part. It feels like it's just to let me know that like there is reproduction in the game. And that's how you get people. It seems like a pretty good game. I might do like a, a first video other than the tutorial. All right, what's next? Uh, make more tools or construct buildings until crafting knowledge accumulates to 50. 
after the raincoat technology is discovered, open the creations interface and select the raincoat technology and assign a creator. What does this have to do with reproduction? Oh, wait. Uh, make more tools. Okay, so we will make, 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 make. Let's just make a bunch of stuff then. All right, we'll get that going. Um, we will assign you. You are my crafter now. We need another shed. And in this shed, we will put... Um, what do I need again? Herbs? No. 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 Up at the top, is it? Oh, do I still have the shed? Still have the shed. Let's cover that stuff too. Actually, you know what? Let's do the clothing stand like here. Crafting table, seed table. Why do I feel like I'm not able to see? Patient bed. Yeah, I just can't. It's just not here. Oh, there it is. All right, now we're going to rotate it. And we're going to wait for that stuff to get built. You could have slept. You didn't have to wake up right away. So you know what? We're going to click on this. And instead of making... Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. How do I know what my knowledge is at? Still 50... How many people are in my village? Eight. Um, let's make eight spears as well. Screw it, let's do one of each for everybody. Oh, I have no bones because nobody's hunting. Let's make you a hunter. Raincoat. I can't do it yet. There we go, raincoat. Designate an inventor. Um, who's the smart one? Let's go with Gorlak. Confirm. All right, let's get out of here. We did the thing. And now we just gotta wait again, but that's okay. Do I need a story point? I don't think so. I think it's going to be interesting to, like, play it out. A child is born. Okay. A new discovery. Bridge. Wait, so can I make somebody invent the bridge, too? Or can we only do one at a time? Designate an inventor. You do it. Maybe it's bridge the game. Oh look, they're talking. You're so smart, you see that? I think for the people that like really like simulation games, this is a great game. Oh, she's pregnant again? We do live in a simulation. Raincoat's done. Let's look. Raincoat has been invented. Good job, Raincoat people. Okay, now what? Do I click on here? I was going to cover my mic. I was going to cover the mic with my hand, and then I was like, I don't think that's going to work. Let's make a raincoat, folks. It's not raining yet, but let's do it. Okay, what's next? Uh-oh. Uh, select a primitive child. Do I have any kids? Uh, relationship. Uh, the character information panel. Open the relationship interface. Click on a mentor. And switch to mentorship interface. In the mentorship interface, you can assign a teacher. Uh, ba-ba-ba. Okay, so teacher. Cool. 
Uh, let's go with you. Bye, guy care. Uh, in the build menu, select a story point and place one story point. Before growing up, we'll learn from... Okay. Okay, now, let's go to the build menu. Oh, a story point. Okay. I was thinking, like, skill point for some reason. Host seat, story point. Okay, let's... This is huge! Step four, <laughs> 478. Assign scheduled bowl move, bowel movement to an individual tribe member. It is a little bit like that. A little bit. Story point and set storyteller. Next, in the build menu, select a stone tablet. Place one stone tablet. Build menu, stone tablet. Oh, it's got to be in the story point. Let's put it there. Task complete. Wait for stone tablet to be built. Uh, the stone tablet can assist in the storytelling process. Click on the storytelling point to see how the stone tablet can help the storytelling process. I don't understand. Alright. Select the stone tablet and designate it for handcrafting knowledge inspiration. Gathering resources. No. Listen. Crafting inspiration. Assign work. Tablet engraving. Well, who's the teacher? Make the teacher do it. What's the teacher's name? Derek. Drakar. No. Assign work. Tablet engraving. Where is Drakar? Uh-oh. That's the student. Who's the teacher? Shadow. Oh. Here we go. Where's Shadow? Get to it! Wait, set the priority of all primitive peoples to tablet engraving? What? What? Why everybody? Engrave 50 knowledge on the stone. Okay, well this might take a minute. So how's everybody doing? The bridge has been invented. Cool. That's not a part of this yet. Let's hope I wasn't supposed to wait to do that. Because I'll have to reset the tutorial. Back to title. So that's all the tutorials done. 